Hi friends, I am Huxana Murtaza. You are watching me on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to talk about few of your questions and uh, I would like to answer your questions. First of all thing is that, you know, there are students who are still confused about having acceptance letter, you know, they are trying for acceptance letter and um, mostly students just uh, ask me questions that we tried for acceptance letter but we couldn't able to get uh, it. Uh, so um, now can we apply for, um, uh, still we can apply for acceptance letter and uh, still uh, there is a chance for getting admission and uh, is it important uh, in documents, it is mandatory documents. I don't know how many times I said in uh, videos that acceptance letter is not a mandatory document, it's optional documents. You can apply without acceptance letter in CSC portal. But again, having said that, it's important. It can be, uh, uh, it can be, uh, it can be um, put you in a safe site, you know, because there are professors who can defend for your application if you get a uh, acceptance letter from any powerful uh, professor. Yeah, there's there. But if you couldn't able to get acceptance letter after um, try, then then you can apply without acceptance letter. You know, there are students who can, who got admission without acceptance letter. There's there's not just a rumor there's fact that people are get, students are getting admission without acceptance letter and um, even I had many colleagues in my university who, who even don't know about the acceptance letter what is acceptance letter they applied on portal and they got admission and um, yeah I even uh, I just share my experience having acceptance letter or without acceptance letter in one video and you can take a lesson from there you know and um, there is a student who asked me that I have made 500 emails to professor and uh, but I didn't get any response. Actually nowadays professor on, on there, there is a winter vacation in China you know they are not they are, you know, they are not in offices but um, but you need to if you couldn't able to get acceptance letter so far you what you you have no option you know you need to be just keep mailing them keep mailing them and uh, at least end of feb you know because there is a universities in china whose deadline is the end of april end of uh, march or end of april and uh, till the last death uh, till the last date of, uh, of deadline you, 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 you can apply for a acceptance letter if you couldn't able to get it then apply without acceptance letter and um, you, you, but, but what you can do is that you can just keep marrying them I'm sure that you will get acceptance letter last uh, last couple of weeks I was trying to get acceptance letter and uh, I received few of responses from uh, from different professors and they said um, uh, in our lab there is a no any uh, no more vacancy and uh, there will be professor who just um, gave me acceptance letter so there are different type of professors you know you will be get admission you will be get acceptance letter and uh, so you need to keep trying for a gift, uh, for acceptance letter that's what you can do and the other thing is that you know from where we can get agency number you know you can get agency number from google you know you simply you can write the agency number of uh, suppose Zhejiang university and you can uh, write their agency number of Hust university agency number of uh, Pekin University and uh, things uh, and they will show you the agency number it's very quite easy and uh, if you have still any problem according for that university according to uh, while filling the form and uh, you can directly um, ask from the ISO you, you know there will be a contact number given uh, in their website and uh, you can ask for them and uh, they are nowadays they are on their offices they are working for the these application processes who, uh, for all universities who uh, announced admissions so there will be people on their duties so they will apply for they will reply for you and uh, surely they will help for you and a uh, Chinese teacher are much more cooperative and uh, um, more, pe more, more teachers are very cooperative as compared to um, teachers in our um, in our country when uh, students are allowed uh, to China you know this is the question even no one don't know you know no one doesn't know about uh, when they are going to be allowed students 
and um, uh, what about pre admission letter you know pre admission letter is a letter uh, in the same way you know for category b you can apply for acceptance letter in the same way you can apply for pre admission letter for category a so now category a their deadline is over and uh, you can apply for category b and for category b you can use your acceptance letter instead of pre admission letter and uh, that's what i wanted to um, tell you and uh, i'm sure that if you have serious confusion you can ask me and uh, i'm trying to answer you i will see you in next video till that allah peace